we've just been uh, set aside in a security lane. Hi everyone. Can you say hello? Hi. Hi. Now at the... We're moving. Right, so we got stopped at the um, security checkpoint place and we had to go into oh, a lane again. and get moving again. And I was a little bit worried that they were going to get in and search the whole place and turn it upside down, but they just wanted to check that our gas bottles were off and they were, so we're all good. Um, Eva's now found the sweets. Eva's found the sweets. Oh, Adam, <laughs> right. bye. Passport control. Okay, so we are now in the train. On the train. In the train, on the train, I don't know. We are in the... Yeah. Well, we are... Because yeah, otherwise we'll be on top of the roof. Yeah, so we're now in the train. I, I don't know, we're in the train. Anyway, so we're here, and it's nearly time to go. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go and travel under the sea. Under the sea. Now, Ethan, yeah. what do you think? This is different. This is very exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Now, as we are in a motorhome, we can eat our food under the sea. For all you people out there that have got motorhomes or maybe caravans, I don't know if that counts. I have just discovered what it is like to travel on this train in what is complete luxury. I've got a bed, I've got potentially TV, I've got food. I mean, I, okay, we cannot cook in the oven. Apparently you've got to have the gas off for some reason. But it's amazing. I was just laid on the sofa, just ate some food. What do you think about this, Ethan? How is this compared to the ferry? The train's much quicker than the train. Say that again. <laughs> you said the same thing. You mean the train's much quicker than the... Ferry. Ferry, yeah. And it is... I mean, we've got everything we need here, haven't we? I mean, if we want to go to bed, you could. This is perfect. So, if you haven't done it already, we hadn't done it before Six. in the motorhome. Amazing. And it's so fast.
second thing either. So it is currently raining. It's actually not, it's hailing. We brought the British weather with us. Yeah, so UK, you are with us right now with the abysmal weather. <sighs> hmm. It's fine until we stopped. Yeah, it was alright until we stopped here. Maybe we just didn't stop. Maybe we just keep driving. Got some uh, Brits there. Can't really see a number plate, but if you're parked behind us here, you, know, you saw us and we saw you. We're now at our park for night sight. We've had food, as you've seen, just settling down for the evening. But we thought we'd go out for a walk to try and burn off some energy, not for me or Janie, but for the kids, because they are a little bit excited. That was wonderful, they're having a good time, so I suppose we can't afford that. The hail you saw just now was a little bit crazy. It was a little bit too much. I'm glad it didn't do that in the middle of the night because we would all be awake. Although the kids probably wouldn't, they sleep through anything. They're a little bit crazy. So the new van that's turned up is also from the UK. So Motome two vans, and there's another Motome which is from Germany. No French people though. It's wonderful this place. I think it's seven or ten minutes off the motorway, which came off, paid the toll. the end we'll probably do a final video concluding what we thought of our trip just to give you ideas of all the costs and everything oh, the sun sun look that is blinding me I'm gonna get burnt yeah look at these big huge so I guess they're like cargo things but they've got a big crew space in the back so I'd assume that people live on them and they're all pretty similar so for you that don't know, the water on that side is much higher than this side here. So that water matches the height there. So to get boats from the higher part to the lower part and release them out into the river, what you have to do is you allow water to fill into here, you raise the water up. You then open those gates at the end, bring the boat through, shut the gates, drain the water out of here, the boat goes down, and then you can open these gates here and drive the boat out again. Now you do the same exact same thing to take the boat up onto the higher part of the water, just backwards obviously, um, just by driving the boat in here, shutting these gates, flooding it from the water up there, that takes the water up and you can then drive the boat out after opening the gates. There we go. A lock. Right, so we're now here, we've arrived at the uh, toileting station. I mean, highlight of our video so far. No, I hope not. I hope it's not. It might be. If you're into toilets or the rest of the video has been really boring, then maybe this is the best part so far. But yeah, they've got a, a metery thing. Ah, there's a camping car park thing. We've got a count of those. If you haven't, if you haven't seen Camping Car Park, check them out. They've got loads of sites around Europe, I believe. Definitely France, and I think Europe. You can basically empty your toilet here. But there's other places where there's like car parks and you can stay overnight. It's a place we've been to already, so if you check out our Christmas video, just gone. Oh, there's a doggy. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, <laughs> more, more English than I speak French. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, so got attacked by a dog. Not attacked, very friendly. <laughs> so it's just nearly stacked it. <laughs> so anyway, so camping car park. From what I understand, not sponsored, unfortunately. Sponsorized camping car park. Just loads of car parks everywhere, basically. 
with uh, barriers, some of them have facilities. I've not seen one with a, um, a swimming pool yet, that would be nice. But yeah, we've had a couple where they've just been a car park, but they seem to have toilets, most of them, um, and showers would be like the next level. Yeah, so if you are in Europe in a motorhome or a, a van or whatever, and you're in somewhere to stay, oh, they, so they have powers as well, an E. H U electric hookup. I've got Ethan tapping me on the arm. Hi Ethan, how can I help? Um, that was a horse poster. A horse? Right, so the field back there, there was a poster I said to Ethan to check it out because it told us what was in the field. Turns out it's a horse. Okay, so we're going to head back now to the motor home. Also, uh, yeah. we found a horse too. We did, we found a horse. Um, we went up to see it and there was the owner there um, and we both explained to each other that we didn't speak the opposite language very well. So at least that communication was successful. Me and Ethan are learning French. If you do come here, there is a picnic bench. There. I haven't seen anything else. Oh no, there's another one. There's two, at least two. So there's benches. I guess they're for the people on the boat, so obviously let's not... Um, you know, let's not tread on people's toes too much, but but there is stuff here. And at the end of the day, if you came with your own set of chairs, I guess no one's gonna get upset. Um, I guess you're technically not allowed to, um, you know, level your van or put chairs outside the old no camping. But to be fair, it's private land, I believe, possibly, might not be. Don't take that from me, might not be private land. But um, there's no one here. Not gonna upset many people, are you? We've got one leveling block out. Good morning, everyone. We are awake, just about. We're a little bit late waking up because Janie's reminded me that not only with the clocks changing, um, and uh, something else. What was it? Time difference. Time difference. Um, there's actually like we've lost like two hours. I was planning to set off this morning at seven, but that would have been five o'clock apparently. So um, I was convinced that that was a bad idea. We're going to set off in a bit, but um, just thought I'd conclude this video. So um, if you want to stress today, keep watching. <laughs>